Good morning. I'm delighted to be here with you this morning on this Friday and Easter week for morning prayer. I've missed being here the past few weeks. Once the clergy began streaming live from home, I had a few technical glitches to work out with the help of Jess and Buddy and all the people on staff at Holy Innocent. But we are here now, and this is good. If you have your pamphlet that the church sent you, you can follow along there, or you can turn in the prayer book to page 77. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. On this day the Lord has acted. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Alleluia, Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Not with old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. <clears throat> the psalm appointed for today is Psalm 136. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods, for his mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his mercy endures forever. Who only does great wonders, for his mercy endures forever. Who by wisdom made the heavens, for his mercy endures forever. Who spread out the earth upon the waters, for his mercy endures forever. Who created great light, for his mercy endures forever. The sun to rule the day, for his mercy endures forever. The moon and the stars to govern the night, for his mercy endures forever. Who struck down the firstborn of Egypt, for his mercy endures forever. And brought out Israel from among them, for his mercy endures forever and brought out Israel from among them, for his mercy endures forever. With a mighty hand and a stretched out arm, for his mercy endures forever. Who divided the Red Sea in two, for his mercy endures forever, and made Israel to pass through it, the midst of it, for his mercy endures forever. But swept Pharaoh and his army into the Red Sea, for his mercy endures forever. Who led his people through the wilderness, for his mercy endures forever. Who struck down great kings, for his mercy endures forever. And slew mighty kings, for his mercy endures forever. Sion, king of the Amorites, for his mercy endures forever. And Og, the king of Bashan, for his mercy endures forever and gave away their lands for an inheritance, for his mercy endures forever, an inheritance for Israel, his servant, for his mercy endures forever, who remembered us in our lowest state, for his mercy endures forever, and delivered us from our enemies, for his mercy endures forever, who gives food to all creatures, 
for his mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the God of heaven, for his mercy endures forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The first lesson appointed for the day is from 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Listen, I will tell you a mystery. We will not all die, but we will all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised imperishable, and we will be changed. For this perishable body must put on imperishability, and this mortal body must put on immortality. When this perishable, perishable body puts on imperishability, and this mortal body puts on immortality, then the saying that is written will be fulfilled. Death has been swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your victory? Where, O oh death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved, be steadfast, immovable, always excelling in the work of the Lord, because you know that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In response to the um, reading from Corinthians, we will say together a song to the Lamb, which is taken from the book of Revelation. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God, for you created everything that is. And by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God from every family, language, people, and nation a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor, forever and forevermore. The Gospel reading appointed for today is from chapter 24 of the Gospel according to Luke. But on the first day of the week at early dawn, they came to the tomb, taking the spices they had prepared. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they went in, they did not find the body. While they were perplexed about this, suddenly two men <coughs> in, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> two men in dazzling clothes stood beside them. The women were terrified and bowed their faces to the ground. But the men said to them, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here, but has risen. Remember how he told you, while he was still in Galilee, that the Son of Man must be handed over to sinners and be crucified, and on the third day rise again. Then they remembered his words, and returning to the tomb, from the tomb, they told all this to the eleven and to all the rest. Now as Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and the other women with them who told this to the apostles, but these words seemed to them an idle tale, and they did not believe them. But Peter got up and ran to the tomb, stooping and looking in. He saw the linen clothes by themselves. Then he went home amazed at what had happened. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In response to the gospel reading, we will say together the song of the redeemed which is also from Revelation. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth. O king of all the ages, who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, 
and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness, that your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. few collects from the prayer book. The collect for the renewal of life. O God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law, and guide our feet into the way of peace, that having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross, <clears throat> that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you for the honor of your name. Amen. The prayers for the time of the coronavirus are on page five of your pamphlet. For all who have contracted the coronavirus, we pray for care and healing. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who are particularly vulnerable, we pray for the safety and protection. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all who experience fear or anxiety, we pray for peace of mind and spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For affected families who are facing difficult decisions between food on the table or public safety, we pray for policies that recognize their plight. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who do not have adequate health insurance, we pray that no family will face financial burdens alone. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
For those who are afraid to access care due to immigration status, we pray for recognition of the God-given dignity of all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our brothers and sisters around the world, we pray for shared solidarity. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For public officials and decision makers, we pray for wisdom and guidance. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, during this time, may your church be a sign of hope, comfort, and love to all. Grant peace, grant comfort, grant healing. Be with us, Lord. Amen. And together, the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your unmeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by, walk, by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. I hope you have a God-filled day and that you find light and life.